Hi guys, thanks for watching. I am Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I've got the sniffles on because we're having our coldest weather ever on record. This morning when I woke up, it was 2 Celsius. Now, we're in um, Australia, which is like Texas. So 2 Celsius is extremely cold. I'm looking at my computer and it's saying 5 now and it's quarter to 8 in the morning. So it just shows you how cold in Brisbane it is. My nose is really blocked up because it's so cold here. So bear with me, guys, okay? Today is a very, very special message because it's about messages. Ah! <laughs> messages! Okay, we've all heard the saying that we can say, you know, ask them, please send me a sign. And we'll see a feather come down from nowhere. It just floats down. And you think, where did that come from? Where's the bird? Where's the bird? There's no bird. Huh? So let's have a look. Firstly, who sends messages that are feathers? It could be our loved ones that have departed, gone to heaven. Because they can manifest things like feathers, coins, etc. Okay? It could be our guardian angel saying, you're okay. It could be your spirit guide saying, you're on the right path. It could be just an angel. <laughs> Even though they just said, just don't, don't believe that because they are so revered and regal even but angels can send us feathers just to let us know that we're not alone so there's a lot of reasons and there's a lot of entities I nearly said people then but there's a lot of entities that can send us their feathers okay so all we have to do is look up to the sky not specifically talking to anyone in particular, unless you do have someone that you are thinking about as a departed loved one. So you look up to the sky and you visualize that person or your angel. I want to talk to my guardian angel. I need a sign today. Please send me a feather. So I want to talk to you about a story that happened to me. At the end of my street, it's quite big, the bush. It's bush. You know, um, an area of land where they've never cut down trees, etc., they leave it natural. That's what here in Australia we call bush. So at the end of the street, I've got bush. It's got a um, gully in there, and the gum trees are over 100 and something feet tall. It's quite nice. There's water down in there. There's a, like a stream. Unless <laughs> when we had the floods, the whole thing was flooded. But there's sand. We found turtles. There's platypuses down there, etc. Okay. So like going down there with my daughter. So we were walking through. We'd left my house, gone down through. We were coming back and I was talking to my daughter about signs, etc. And I just said, if you want me to know that this is real, please send me a feather. And for some reason, I stopped when I said that. And as I looked down, there's a feather at my feet. So I'm going to show you the feather because I picked it up. It's a beautiful white feather. Um, I need something dark. Here you go. Oh, oh, that's not dark. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. But you can see how beautiful this feather is. Beautiful feather. Right there at my feet. But wait, there's more. <laughs> because next to this guy was another feather. Are you ready? So here's this one. And here's the other one. Huh. So I picked up both of these feathers. And I thought, you guys are smart. I hope you're getting this. Are you working it out why I kept both feathers? 
there's a lot of messages in the me in the receiving of a feather okay you we google it you go to google and you say what does this feather what does a white feather represent look how beautiful it is it's so fluffy and soft and it looks so it's perfect it's a perfect feather perfect feather look at this guy with all its imperfections so I sat there and I thought you guys are very smart because you know that I like teaching people about this stuff if I had only gotten this guy I would have come home and I would have gone onto Google and said what does a white feather represent and I would have kept it in all its glory because it's beautiful feather it's so soft it's so soft. Oh, it does tickle <laughs> oh, we won't go there okay <laughs> okay so getting back on point stop the visualizations Linda okay so if I had googled what does a white feather represent I would have missed missed the message because the message to me this day when I said, can you please give me a message? It wasn't the fact that it's a white feather. It's the fact that there was two feathers. One is young, perfect. It has no imperfections. It has no drama. It has no trauma. It has no grief. It's a perfect, young, vibrant feather. Then we look at this one. It's old or matted. Imagine the life this feather led. Imagine what this poor feather went through on the bird. All those harrowing experiences, fear, not the uncertainty of not knowing the future, whether it was going to live or die. Huh. Isn't that what we're going through now? Wow. So when I got these feathers, it was a few weeks ago because I've shown a lot of people these two feathers and I talk about them all the time of what the real meaning is. It's not about sometimes what the feather looks like. White feather. It's the wisdom and it's the education, the perspective of what we've all been through. It's showing me that we've all struggled. It's showing me that, oh my God, that won't even separate. Look at it. It's, it's so matty and old, it won't even separate. Imagine the story this feather has been through. This is when... We've got to remember, ultimately, these feathers are the same. They're both white feathers. Do you think they're off the same bird? I don't think so. Look at them. I don't think they're off the same bird. But at the end of the day, I really hope that you guys are getting this. It's not about looks. It's not about our material gains. It's not about how long your eyelashes are, how blonde your hair is, how big your breast cup is. It's about what's inside us. It's about how much we give to others, how much we share our stories so other people know that they're not alone. It's sticking together as one. Ho, 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 ho. Because ultimately it's only one feather, one white feather. It's about unity, strength. It's about cooperation, negotiation. But mostly it's about love. Appreciating what we've all been through and what we once were. It's about understanding that as we grow and we get wisdom with our ages, we're no longer 
not classified as ugly. Because to me, this is the perfect feather. This one hasn't had the opportunity yet to show its worth. Big words from Linda today, hey, about just a asking for a feather. So just remember, guys, it could be our departed loved ones. It could be our guardian angels. It could be our spirit guide bringing us these feathers when we ask for them. But it's imperative that when you do receive the message, really sit there and work out why it was sent or why you received two. I hope you're all having a lovely day today. <clears throat> and I hope this one's made your day. Go outside and just look at the sky and appreciate all that life is giving us. Don't think about what's being taken away. Think about what we have that we still can never lose. And you sit there and you say, if I'm on the right path and this is all true, please give me a sign. I've just watched Linda's video with the, with the feathers. Please, I would love to receive one also. I would love to receive one also. But stay aware. Look around. Because they will turn up in the weirdest of spots. Next time, guys. Talk soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.